Good evening. Just kidding. Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we're looking at a really cool um, indie comic from a really cool indie comic creator called Red. Cannot wait to show it to you. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button and let's get right into it. If you're a fan of my channel, a fan of my channel. If you uh, watch my channel, you know I mostly cover like old retro comic books because they're the best comics. There are no other comics worth looking at except for independent comic books. There is like a revolution of independent comic books, Kickstarter comic books, self-published comic books. Um, so many great creators out there, so many great uh, names, artists, concepts, ideas. Uh, you just have to find them where often they find you. Um, I don't know how I found Sam Blanchard. Anyway, uh, this is from Sh uh, Schlepzig is the name of the cartoonist, artist, auteur, creator. Um, his real name is Sam Blanchard. Um, I don't think that's the world's best kept secret. It's not like he's Banksy. Are you Banksy, Sam? I don't think you are. Anyway. So anyway, he goes by uh, Schlepzig, and uh, I thought it was Schlespig for the longest time, which Sam pointed out would make a really great name for a death metal band or something like that. I 100% agree, but anyway, Schlepzig is a great name too. You know, it's like Mobius or, um, I can't think of any other pseudonyms right now for cartoonists. <laughs> One of the best things about getting comics from like indie publishers is they always include fun things like postcards or sketches or something like that in there. I love this art. It is so cool. Uh, Schlepzig is definitely um, one of the cartoonists um, self-publishing right now that I definitely think is someone to keep your eye on. This is his free comic book day comic. I think I just paid for the shipping or the push, yeah, the, the shipping. And um, I guess this is his 20, 20, 24 hour comic book, like basically a comic book that you create in 24 hours. There's a few caveats and disclaimers in the back, but if this was created in 24 hours, it's freaking amazing. I love this cover. I think it's so great. I love his art. I would definitely put him in the, I don't know, sort of like Ted McKeever, Bill Sienkiewicz, more grim and gritty, vertigo, born and bred kind of artist. <clears throat> Definitely indie. There's such a great um, looseness to his layouts um, and like such a great sense of design and like the, the use of, I just like his brushwork and his line work. I'm not sure if he works digitally or not, but it, if he does, uh, he definitely pulls off a sort of, uh, or mm, definitely organic look. Um, so this is black and white. It's on newsprint, which I think makes the printing look freaking amazing. The art totally pops. I love uh, the use of the one color, the color hold, the monochromatic. It's like mostly this cat throughout the story. And this, this story is a lot of fun. Like it's not, I mean, you would think for like a 24 hour comic book, it would be a little, I don't know, rougher and a little more like nonsensical, but it ties together so well. I don't really want to spoil it for you. I want you guys to freaking seek it out and get a copy yourselves. Support Schlesbig. Schlepzig, sorry, sorry. I won't do that anymore. Schlepzig, it is a hard name to say. I will tell you that unless, I mean, I do have German in my blood, it sounds German. Schlepzig, Schlepzig. Okay, so I do love, uh, I love this nun. I mean, who doesn't love a hot nun, right? <laughs> I love the artistry in here. Oh yeah, this was like so cool here. You talk about um, spotting blacks and use of negative space. I don't know if I've ever seen this done in a comic book and I love it so much. I think it looks so cool. Like he's basically like digging or whatever. And you can see below the surface and just like the artifacts and the bones and stuff. I don't know. I just thought it was so freaking cool. And if you know me or watch my channel, you know, I'm all about the comic book art and I love like classic comic book things like the Zipatone screens. 
Um, so anytime I see those, I love, uh, it makes me happy. Great sound effects. Like, I th this is what I love about this comic book. Um, and this is what I'm talking about when I say that, like, independent comic books are definitely um, the route to go as far as finding, I don't know, some real quality stuff that is just going to stick with you and just make, like, a huge impression on you. I feel like the people making these comic books were sort of brought up, perhaps, on the comic books that I love. And it definitely shows, like, in their work, there's, like quality for lack of a better word um this cat is so cool it runs throughout the story and just like great dialogue uh schlepzig um great art i just think this is such a fun cool book and it's very like moody and atmospheric and i love the font and the lettering like i think it's very very well done and super impressive to be like a 24 hour ish comic book. And the thing I noticed is like you would think, like it would just. <laughs> um, I mean, I have to cover uh, Eric Larson's, I think it was the Herculean um, 24 hour comic book. I think I must have it somewhere. And, um, you know, it's interesting because it's like you kind of wonder about the psychology going on, like how many cups of coffee in was this page and like so many great effects. I love it. Just the layouts are so great. Like he manages to maintain, um, you know, as an artist, when you're like laying out a story or doing storyboards, thumbnails, whatever your process is, there is something about the dynana, dynamism, dynamism in like your initial approach or your sketches or your concepts. And oftentimes that is so lost, no matter how hard you try to capture it. And I think there is the essence of a lot of that in here. And I think that speaks to um, uh, Schlepzig's style in general. But I also wonder if it speaks to um, sort of the nature of the beast here, the concept of creating a comic in 24 hours. You know, as an artist, I mean, sometimes you agonize over like a line, like over and over and over again, and just like want it to be so perfect. And I think it's kind of freeing in a way, like deadlines are definitely freeing in a way that sometimes you just have to get the work done. And um, sometimes the spontaneity of that um, maintains itself and just like uh, such a great effect, you know? I'm not the type of artist to agonize over drawing for ever and ever a day, so I wish I could. Then I'd be like, I don't know, Art Adams or something, but I'm not. Anyway, so great comic. I love this. Red Story and Art by Schlepzig. One of my cre comic book cartoonists to definitely keep on your radar. I love all the trade dress. I love the design. I love the printing. I love the art. I love the story, the concept, the characters. This is so much fun and free MFers. It was free except for the postage. So seek out this artist. I mean, if this comic is this good in sort of a 24 hour frame format, I am definitely like on board to see what else uh, Schlepzig does and creates. And I'm definitely seeking this stuff out. Definitely support Schlepzig and this book. Find it. Call Me Chicken coming soon. I love it. What a great disco design. I don't, it speaks disco to me, but that probably says more about me than it does about the, um, the art itself. Anyway, so great. Can I, um, wait to see more stuff by this dude and I love it. And, um, thank you guys for watching. I will link to, uh, whatever, however to find this book or other stuff by uh, Sam. Thanks so much for the comic. Thanks for the postcard. This art is killer. I love it. Enjoy a free camp comic, Sam, aka Schlepzig. Best of luck to you. Continued success. You keep growing as an artist and um, uh, I really can't wait to see what you do next. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button, share my content, and I'll bring you more later.